said that school was built in seven seven months. Actually, three months. Three months. Three months. But from the uh, uh, day of the disaster to actually opening the school was seven months. And as you know, after disaster, there's like if in this case flooding. You have you for you know several um, weeks. It's very hard to build anything. You're just in emergency mode. So and then you have to work on the permissions and working with the uh, government and all, all that. So from the disaster, which happened end of March to opening was uh, to finishing the school was seven months and then we flew in with David on Friday, last Friday, what, what's today? Today is Tuesday. Yeah, yeah last Friday. <laughs> I had no idea either. <laughs> last Friday we opened the school and this school which you saw, uh, it's, um, it's, first of all, it's disaster proof, so uh, proof against flooding and earthquakes and hurricanes. And it looks amazing, as you could see the architecturally. Um, the lots of light airflow um, and the uh, colors were chosen by community. And all this uh, has been done uh, with volunteers. Volunteers built this with um, uh, uh, experts, uh, architects, and I must applaud the architect on this one because it's so, so beautiful. And together, the volunteers uh, work together with the community. On this particular school, there were volunteers from 24 different countries uh, coming together, working side by side with the community and, um, and rebuilding uh, at this beautiful school which will ser serve this and future generations. Uh, and it's just, it was amazing to, to, to feel the love because uh, the volunteers, they live together with the communities and they get very much immersed uh, and uh, uh, community members are volunteering as well and taking care of the volunteers. So it's a beautiful way, um, not just how to be impactful and efficient, but also that sense of togetherness. Um, it was just so, so special.